Thank you, Senator Borsco, and then Senator Favola. Thank you, Madam Chair. I just would point out that the silver line where this bill is proposed to be putting the casino is Class A top, top real estate in the county. This is where the Fortune 500 companies have come to make their homes. This is where we have focused our economic development for years, not just in the past year, but for the past 20 years, have been working with our community members to design plans with community input that align with top uh, Fortune 500 companies, top of the line stuff. If we were to insert ourselves from the General Assembly and say, you have to put your casino in this line. As this bill states, that is counter to what the planning process has been in the state. It disrespects the, the efforts that all of the people in the community have put their time and energy into. It is not something that I believe the Fortune 500s would like to have in the middle of their, of their uh, community. If one of my colleagues would like to have a casino in their part of the county. They're welcome to bring a bill next year. Um, but if, if the people in my community and in my colleague Senator Salim's community wanted it, they, we would have been carrying this bill. And we're not because we have heard all year long from last summer I had a doctor come, I had a doctor's appointment when I, I was sick. He said before he even asked me how I was, we don't want a casino in our community. This is not going to be good for us. We, we don't want it here. I ask that my colleagues re respect the, the will of the, the, the neighbors that I have. Um, and as I said, you know, I've heard from thousands of my constituents. S some of them are here in the room today. Um, we ask that we pass the bill by, and I renew my motion. Thank you, Senator Favola and Senator Marston. Uh, thank you, Madam Chair. I will just note, I think Senator Boisco gave a, a great uh, explanation on the local perspective here. But as you know, we passed legislation that allowed for casinos, I think it was two years ago, and we identified four, five jurisdictions. And those jurisdictions wanted that economic bounce, they wanted to plan for it, they wanted the revenue that was going to come from it, and they asked the General Assembly to please include them in the legislation, and we laid out a framework in that legislation. What this bill does is it, re it creates new, new legislation with new criteria that's unique to a certain neighborhood, not just the county, but a certain neighborhood within Fairfax County, it is going to set a precedent for every other jurisdiction in the Commonwealth to come in with specific criteria to their location so they can offset perhaps their loss in revenue because of office, uh, office vacancy rates or higher unemployment than expected, whatever. But this would set a precedent that is very different from our current framework. And I don't want to go down that path. And that's part of the reason, uh, coupled with the comments that, of course, Sandra Boisco has just made, that's one of the reasons, a big reason why I feel I have to vote no on this. And I, let me just say to those who are not completely familiar with our process, a vote to continue this is really a vote to, 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 to put it off, it would have to come back next year if the patron so chose. We would go through another set of hearings. So it in no way gives this additional bounce. It is almost as effective as saying we are going to PBI it for this, for this year. So I just want the audience to understand that whatever motion passes, this will be dead for the year, whether we carry it over or we PBI it. Thank you, Madam Chair.